Hello, my name is Srikumar from the Avaya Client Services team. This video will demonstrate how to configure and integrate the Avaya Aura Communication Manager with Avaya Aura Experience Portal through H.323. For this demo purpose, I have logged into the Communication Manager SAT prompt uh, which is on software release 6.3 as you can see here. So in order to configure the H.323 stations for the Avaya Aura Experience Portal purpose, we need to first make sure that the 7434 ND type uh, is enabled. For this, we need to go to Change System Parameters Features, go to page number 6, come down to 7434 ND and enable that. I am going to save the changes now. Now we can add stations with type 7434ND which we can use for this experience portal purpose. So I am going to add stations now. Add station 7807000. This is uh, aligned to my dial plan. The type should be 7434ND and the port should be IP. Just give a name for this particular station for the identification purpose. I'm going to give Avaya Aura Experience Portal Station 1 giving the security code 123456 come down to display module enable it and make sure that the display language is set to English. Now we need to go come down to IP soft phone, enable it, go to the next page. Make sure that the restrict last call appearance is set to S. Yes. This ensures that the Avaya Aura Experience Portal Station will be able to do the transfer. Now come down to multimedia mode change the mode from basic to enhanced now we can go to page number four and we can remove the call appearance which is configured on the third button as the experience portal stations only need two call appearance come to button number 10 and configure this as the UCID info now go to the last page and make sure that we configure a button normal on the display button assignment page. Now we can save the changes. So now I have created one experience portal station. Now uh, depending on my requirement I can add as many stations I need. So I'm going to create two more stations for my experience portal. So I'm going to do a duplicate station going to add station number 7807001 port as IP using the same station code so I have created uh, three stations for my uh, experience portal so I can see that here I have created three stations which is towards my experience portal now as per our requirement uh, we've needed we can create a hunt group and add these experience portal stations onto that so I'm going to create a hunt group add hunt group 2 giving the name as Aware Aura Experience Portal Main. Group extension can be any number within the extension range configured in the dial plan. So I've given a name. The group type I'm giving it as circular because I wanted the hunting method to be in circular form. So I'm going to the page number three and adding my stations there.
so I'm going to save the changes so this concludes the configuration of the CMN now we need to administer the store 3 to 3 settings at the aware aura experience portal end now let's do the configuration at the aware aura experience portal end for this we need to log into the experience portal web interface using the admin credentials please make sure that you have a valid uh, license file installed on the webLM server for this experience portal so now in order to add the h.323 connections you need to go to OIP connections which is under system configuration under h.323 click on add here we can add the h.323 connections now under the name this is just for a identification purpose I'm going to give a name as cm6.3 main and I'm enabling this particular connection the gatekeeper address is the IP address of your broker or the CLAN. So here I am going to use my broker for the uh, as a gatekeeper. If you have an alternate gatekeeper IP address, you can specify here. The gatekeeper port should be 1719. If you want to enable the media encryption, you can enable that here. Now we need to enter the station range which we configured on the CM side. So I have configured three ports on the CM side for this particular experience portal. So I'm going to specify those stations details here. The password should be the same password as we configured on the station form. Now we have an option here under the station type to specify whether we are going to use these stations for inbound, outbound or both. So I am choosing this as both, that is for both inbound and outbound. Click on add. Save the changes. Now we can see here one H.323 connection is configured and that particular interface is enabled. In case if you want to monitor the status of the ports, we can go to port distribution which is under real-time monitoring and we can see all the port details with the status here. This concludes the configuration at the Aware Aura Experience Portal end. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions and feedbacks at mentor at aware.com or at tutor at aware mentor.